Good morning. Welcome to St. Charles. Let us offer together our prayer for a better understanding of true stewardship in our lives and here in our parish. Lord God, you alone are the source of every good gift of the vast array of our universe and the mystery of each human life. We praise you and we thank you for your great power and your tender, faithful love. Everything we are and everything we have is your gift. And after having created us, you have given us into the keeping of your Son, Jesus Christ. In the name and spirit of Jesus, we commit ourselves to be good stewards of the gifts entrusted to us, to share our time, our talent, our material gifts as an outward sign of the treasure we hold in Jesus. Amen. Our presider will be Father Ryan Furlong. Please stand for our entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we continue this Christmas season with the celebration of the Epiphany of the Lord. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our bread. You are seen. Right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you, the Lord shines and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you, your sons from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. 
your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba, shall come bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Lord. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. to God all you lands, sing out in joy, sing out in love to our God. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Announce God's salvation forever and glory proclaim to the earth. Tell all the peoples the wondrous deeds of our God. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Today is born. Christ the Lord. Let us rejoice in our Savior who has come now to rule the earth. Rule it in justice, rule it in mercy forever. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord, Christ the A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word, and I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out, and behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Merry Christmas again. We continue our Christmas celebration. Did you know there was a fourth Magi that Jesus actually turned away. He was offering fruitcake. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. Today we celebrate the epiphany of the Lord. And it gives us, I think, a clear contrast a clear split of those who are seeking Jesus Christ. There is King Herod, who tells the Magi, I too want to pay homage to our Lord. Let me know where he is. We know that Herod's true goal is to remove the child Jesus. He sees the child Jesus as a threat to his authority. Remember, he said, there is a bounty on all children, male children two years of age 
and younger. That's why the Holy Family fled to Egypt. But Herod, as it says later on in other places, and also true of John the Baptist, that he, Herod, was curious about the child Jesus. He was also curious at John the Baptist. It says he delighted when John the Baptist spoke. So many seek Christ for a novelty. So many see Christ as a lucky charm. They do not have true faith like Herod. They're not willing to conform themselves. They're not willing to change who they are. They're not willing to repent and to follow the true king of kings. They follow the world. They follow the allurements of the world. They follow superstars on TV. And Jesus and his teachings are just a nice, cozy story. We take what we want to believe, the easy stuff, the good stuff, love your neighbor, give to the poor, we can handle that. But the sacrifice and the struggle, we do not want. Then there is the other side. There are the magi who go on a treacherous journey following the light of faith. The road is difficult. There is sacrifice. They bring with them the best of what they have, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And when they see the Lord, they prostrate themselves in front of Jesus Christ, and they offer their best. They give their best to God, and they see in the child Jesus the Savior. They are willing to change their hearts, to conform themselves to the way of Christ. The true king. Remember the early story in Genesis of Cain and Abel. Cain gave some grain offerings to the Lord. Abel gave the first fruits of his harvest, the first fruits, the animals. Abel gave his best. Cain gave what was left over. What do we give our Lord? How do we follow the Lord Jesus Christ? That light that they followed, we follow too. We follow Jesus Christ. He is the light that scatters the darkness in the world. So many people are caught in the darkness. There is a way out. It's Jesus Christ. Nothing else. Nothing else will bring happiness. And so how do we choose to follow God? And do we choose to give him our best? And that light in the sky of faith do we always follow the light of faith? You yourself are also a light. You may know this or you may not know this, but people are looking to you. If you have children, of course your children are looking to you to be a light for them. 
Will you be a light of Christ to others that the world so desperately needs? Be a light of Jesus Christ, a light of faith for others. Don't be like Herod, who God is just a novel curiosity. Be like the Magi who sacrificed everything and gave their best to God. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Let us stand now and profess our Catholic faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Jesus is our only true light, and in faith we bring him our prayers and petitions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may he have good health and wisdom of heart as he leads our church. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our leaders, may they grow in wisdom and judgment as they lead us into this new year, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are in darkness or who feel lost, may they find their way, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May this epiphany be a time of growing in the gifts God has given us, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Carol Grope, whom we remember in this Mass, and for Peter Gross, Mary Huston, and Dennis Palazzo, who were buried this week, may all the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the needs we hold within our hearts, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Two announcements. The house blessing chalk to bless your homes uh, is in the gathering space. Please take some. And also blessed, uh, blessed 2021 church calendars are also in the gathering space, so you're invited to take both of those. Good and gracious God, we ask you to hear and answer our prayers through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church in which are offered now, not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for today you revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
By the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Oh, we and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you, Lord, in thanksgiving, this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of Christ and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with our patron, St. Charles Borromeo, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in thy unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. We have seen his star in the east and have come with gifts to adore the Lord. Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mysteries in which you have willed us to participate. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May God, who has called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light, pour out in kindness his blessing upon you and make you your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity. Amen.
And since all in confidence you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you a light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. And so when your pilgrimage is ended, may you come to him who sought the Magi as they followed the star, and whom they found with great joy the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Go in peace. And have a blessed week, everyone. Body of Christ. I've heard about this baby boy 